Now let's say conversion from one base to another. Now to do conversion from one base to another, that means the number will not be in base ten. So it will be in one base, then we need to change it to another base. Example convert convert two three base five to base two so in this case the number is not in base 10 now if the number is in base 10 we will just use this uh, method but since the number is not in base 10 we need to change this to base 10 first after changing to base 10 then you now change to base 2 now change this to base 10 as usual that will be what 2 times 5 plus 3 times 5 that will be 0 1 so that will be 2 times 5 plus 3 times 1 because anything raised by 0 is 1 so this will be 2 times 5 10 plus 3 that will be 13 base 10 now this 13 base 10 now change it to base 2 so that means we will now have 13 base 10 change it to base 2 so how many 2 can you see in 13 that is 6 remainder 1 how many 2 can you see in 6 3 remainder 0 how many 2 can you see in 3 1 remainder 1 how many two can you see in one? No, since one is now less, we have zero, one. Now, do you see that this one is like combining what we have learned before? That is, we have learned how to change to base 10. We have also learned how to change from base 10 to other base. So that means it's just combination. So this one does not really have much, but it will be from one base to another. Now, remember our approach of changing to base 10. So that means I can decide to say, 2 3 base 5 that will be 2 times 5 10 plus 3 13 direct to base 10 so now this one will now be like 2 3 base 5 is equal to 1 1 0 1 base 2 you know that means we are going from bottom to the top so that's how we do this one to the conversion So now let's see another example. Now to do another example, like convert one, two, three, base five to base eight. So it's not in base ten. Change this to base ten first. That will be one times five plus 2 times 5 plus 3 times 5 so this will be 0 1 2 so now that will be 1 times 25 plus 2 times 5 plus 3 times 1 so 1 times 25 25 plus 2 times 5 10 then this one will be 25 plus 35 that will be 38 base 10 now i'm just doing it straight like this because we have idea of how to find this so now now change this one from base 10 to base 8 so anytime it is from one base to another so that's what we do so now 3 8 base 10 remainder to base 8 now how many 8 can you see in 38? So 8 in 38, 8 times 5, 40. So that means 8 times 4 is 32. So remainder 6. Meaning 8 will go in 38, and 38, 4 times. Remainder 6. So how many 8 can you see in 4? Because 4 is now less than 8. So that will be 0, 4. So number from bottom to the top. So that means 1, 2, 3, base 5, 
is equals to 4 6 base 8 okay square so that's it so now i'll do i'll send question on this one like uh, sample you tell me question on this and i'll now start with uh, continue with conversion of decimal points from after that decimal point we will now see our division so that means our next target now is how to convert decimal points so try this one convert two three one base four to base to base two now remember that question one two three base five our normal approach that is one times five is five plus the next number seven seven times five thirty five plus the next number thirty eight so we want to do it direct it's always fast in that manner to change the number to this time number two convert five seven base eight to base three so try this one too so we'll now continue next class